You are such an asshole! AssholeConsulting.com. Go there if you have a question. We have a young man down in New Zealand, it looks like. And he writes, hello, Aaron. First, I sent you an email earlier asking about pharmacy. However, spend time working at a pharmacy. Brilliant fucking idea there. Everyone should do that. Work at the place before you commit four fucking years. And Lord knows how much money before you work there. As an assistant, studying with the first year textbook and speaking with the pharmacist in person as well as on Reddit. As a result, I've come to the realization that I love math and I'm not overly people focused. And I'm not really interested in biochem or physiology anymore, despite studying for an undergraduate along with psychology. Therefore, I don't mind if you charge me more for the subsequent questions, given I never paid you for your reading time. Oh, did he get one through? Did I fucking not charge you? Oh man, who's the asshole now? Fucking son of a bitch. Well, he paid now. As I said before, I've rediscovered a love for math which I had while in high school, which my mom convinced me not to stay at university and do biology instead. Never listen to broads about math and science. I remember my mom and my, my eldest cousin, who was female. Oh my God, algebra is so hard, but then calculus, oh, they're gonna be sorry about that. I'm like, oh fuck, calculus, what's that? I think it was like eight. And so I always lived in fear of calculus. And I got them like, yeah, it was challenging, but no, don't listen to women about finding, or not finding, well, don't listen to them about that either. <laughs> Unless it's Anne Rand, unless they, they are, or uh, Sue Zorman. But otherwise, you don't listen to them on math, you don't listen to them on finances. Ba -ba 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 -ba. As a result, I'm trying to decide between probably the two best applied math courses offered here by universities in New Zealand. Here are the links to the papers offered by each. All right, And then one link to you gave me the wrong link but that you sent me is basically just a degree in statistics. And the other one is a link. So my computer's uploading and now it's got to download because of it. In actuarial science. Okay, so let's continue. As you can see, one is more data science statistics based, while the other is more actuary, county risk management, and econometrics focused. So at least I don't become an actuary. I have in-demand skills. So at least if I don't become an actuary, I have in-demand skills and knowledge. I'm set in my decision to study math and I'm keen to choose a program so I can start making plans to find a job within the area the university gets settled save some money now that my immediate debts are paid off and then soon loans to start studying and preparing in my free time so I'm well ahead of the pack by the first semester kicks off however hopefully I provide enough information without wasting your time let me know how much taking into account my previous email which you can also charge for thanks Cam. all right here's the deal dude um they're both good degrees uh, but it, it, the problem is that one is just a general degree, statistics, and within that they gave you options like you can take computer science, you can take modeling and programming and all this other stuff, uh, so, but, and you could specialize in something that would certainly get you a job, like probably modeling or something, uh, but in the end, it's not training you for a trade or a skill. Accounting, you become an accountant. An actuary, you become an actuary. A mechanical engineer, you become a mechanical engineer. You major in statistics, okay, you have this raw talent, but did you take any additional classes? And you, even if you did, it's not displayed clearly in your degree. Well, he has a degree in statistics. And then they're gonna ask, well, does he know how to be an actuary? Is he aware of the algorithms and formulas that we use? Does he have these programming skills? We, that doesn't say it, but if you get a degree in actuarial science, then it's like very obvious you become an actuary. Now you are right, the, there's a fair a lot of, of overlap between the two. So if you were to get your degree in actuarial science, um, then you would obviously have a, a, an end goal of becoming an actuary at the end. There'd be a job at the end of it. Uh, of course, you'd have to like take some certifications and some tests. Uh, but then, if all of a sudden down the road you say, "Okay, now I need a different," or, or it's not going to be actuarial science. Okay, that's not a hard uh, degree to retool into something else: econometrics, computer programming, something like that. Uh, so, just just for more practicality purposes, I would recommend you definitely go the actuarial science route. <clears throat> this assumes, though, you want to be an actuary. You okay with it? Because between the two, now the other thing, the drawback with the statistics one, okay, yeah, that kind of helped, but you'd still then have to take all these testy stuff that takes some extra classes um, because you have to sharpen that statistics degree in something. And usually if you want to become an actual statistician or a mathematician, you're relegating yourself to the world of academia, government, and maybe some high-level programming stuff, in which case you're going to have to get those programming skills anyway. But you got to get a master's or a doctorate, and then you're making good bucks in coin, but then you got to go get your master's or doctorate. I would recommend go the actuarial science route, 
then continue on. You could simply then get your master's or doctorate in statistics. You're not going to miss a beat. You'll have that employable, uh, employable skill. You have a career attached to the end of it. And then if you don't find out that that's really your cup of tea, you're really, really, you're a math wonk, then go ahead, get an advanced degree in statistics or math. Or, you know, give yourself a little bit of time in the field. Say, oh, I really like this aspect of math or that aspect of math. Who knows? Maybe all of a sudden you really, really, really love programming and modeling. So let's, let's go become an actuary. Start that. Pay off your student loans. Get your finances settled. Maybe even, you know, purchase a house or something like that. And then after you work a little bit in the field and you get a little bit wise, you go up that mountain, you get a better lay of the land. I go, ah, this is what I want to do. I don't want to be an actuary anymore. Oh, I do want to be an actuary. And you become a super actuary. There's different certifications. They're actually called super actuaries. No, totally. Here in the United States, they are. Don't look that up or verify. So yeah, that's all I got. But yeah, you're, you're, that's, that, you're in the right ballpark there, pal. You're not going to be collecting a government check from me. So best of luck to you. Toodles.